Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk very quickly about finding sine of the tan inverse of one. That's a good question. Here's another one. Let's do sine of tan inverse of x, okay? Then let's do uh, a cosecant inverse of a sine of 45. And then using this triangle, well, using um, secant inverse of the square root of uh, 1 plus x squared, find the tangent. Okay, so here we go. A couple problems we made up. First things first on all of these is you need to start on the inside and draw a picture. So tangent is opposite over adjacent. Since it's positive, that means it's going to be up here because tangent inverse is good in the first and fourth quadrant. So in this case, you have opposite, you have adjacent. Now, of course, in this case, you should be able to find hypotenuse. There you go. And so tan inverse of this, this is clearly a 45 degree angle. This is now all dead to me. All I care about is what is sine of 45. Well, sine of 45, uh, 45 degrees, 1, 1, root 2. So the answer here is 1 over root 2. Very good. Now, let's go over here. Sine of tan inverse of x. Well, again, opposite adjacent. So I got to put it over 1. Let's draw a picture. Again, because it's positive, it's only in either quadrant one or four because that's where inverse tan is. Because it's positive, it's up here. If it were negative, it would be down there. So we have opposite, we have adjacent. So let's find the hypotenuse. X squared plus one, square root. Now, all this is dead to me. I just need to find the sine of this. So what is the sine of that angle? Answer is opposite over hypotenuse, x over the square root of x squared plus 1. There you go. That is the answer. Down here, we have sine 45. So let's see here. Sine of 45, there's a 45, 1, 1, root 2. Sine would be 1 over root 2, 1 over root 2. Now, we want to find the cosecant inverse of this. Now, uh, I don't know that I did a great job on this. Because if cosecant is hypotenuse over, um, let's see, it'd be opposite, I have a problem. This hypotenuse is smaller than this opposite. So even though I was totally able to do this part of it and get the answer, I can't go any further because finding the cosecant of something where a hypotenuse is smaller than the opposite does not exist. Okay, let's move over here. We have secant inverse of this. Well, secant inverse. So that's going to be hypotenuse over adjacent. So let's draw the picture. Hypotenuse, square root of 1 plus x squared. Now, in this case, adjacent is 1, which makes sense because if I have this, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So 1 squared plus b squared equals the square root of 1 plus x squared squared. In this particular case, the square root and the square are going to cancel out. So I have 1 plus b squared equals 1 plus x squared minus 1 minus 1. And those cancel out. So I get b squared equals x squared. So b must equal x, which makes sense because if I were to try to put these together, 1 squared plus x squared would be square root of 1 plus x squared. So side and sides right there. Now, at this point, I'm done with this. I need to find the tangent of that. Tangent would be opposite over adjacent, x over 1 or just x. So hopefully that was some helpful information for you.